Hi there. Here are some, well, some really ugly polygons, but let's just pretend that they are data representing some phenomenon that's not like actually as discrete as these polygons, as basic as they are, would have you believe. So, I don't know, something like uh, historic ethnicities of a place or the migratory homelands of wildebeests or um, the nesting patterns of birds or maybe elevated instances of co2 you know stuff that we aren't just so certain that yes it's here and it's not there but guess what in the world of vector data we're kind of stuck with the data being yes and no this kind of binary or boolean nature of data and it's just so sure of itself right even though it's representing something that we're not so sure of but we have to capture that as data but how do we visualize it as something less confident something more in keeping with its uh sort of vaporous or fluid or slightly uncertain nature so i'll walk through you know a handful of ways to visualize data as being uncertain polygon data specifically so let's let's dive into this now a lot of the times somebody might just use a, a like a dashed line so let's look at the symbology here the first order of business is to give this fill something that pops a little bit more so we can actually see it in this video and i'll give it some semi-transparency because i just think that's the right thing to do and here's our default stroke this is just what it loaded in by default so let's make this white and give it a full pixel stroke um let's just see what this looks like okay um a dashed line so there's a dash effect that comes preloaded with every every stroke layer in a symbol layer in arcgs pro so we can look at this and say well let's just give it a dashed line okay now i'm looking at this and my impression as a map reader might be okay i mean there's a, a boundary but it's kind of dashed at the end we use this a lot for um political conflict like contested borders like here's here's kind of where the border is but uh, people don't agree on that so dashed lines sometimes can be representative of uncertainty in polygons let's look at some more though uh, for something like this when it's representing a more vaporous phenomenon i think we can do better than the old dashed line so let's just get rid of the dashed line and look at this fill property and I'm gonna make it a lot more transparent I'm gonna say 90% transparent so it's only 10% visible and you can just barely see it but there's a cool thing called an offset effect an offset just draws the polygon in or out a certain distance that you you define and i'll make this accurate um, and here's the trick i'm just going to duplicate this a bunch of times one two three four five times so now i've got these guys all stacked up on top of each other and i'll just start um, giving these a negative offset a negative offset will snug it in a little bit um, a positive offset will push the polygon out so let's give this two go up to the next one give it two more so negative four negative six negative eight and we'll snug this innermost one in 10 pixels and you can see in this little preview that we're creating what looks like a fuzzy edge a somewhat uncertain edge so let's see how that looks on the map now we've got effectively a blurry version of our polygons and when i look at this i say oh okay there's some definite uncertainty you know no longer are these vectors so confident that yes i'm here and no i'm not here so visually we're kind of pushing that um, the the honesty about this data into the visualization which is what it's all about now I just pulled all these in 
so that we get a little bit of bottlenecks in here, but you can push them out from its original data defined, you know, polygon. You can push half of them out and half of them in, so it's kind of blurred along the middle. That's probably actually the best way to go, which I didn't do it here because it um, involved a couple more uh, steps of math thinking, and I don't think very quickly when it comes to math. But you get the point. You can make a fuzzy looking polygon to show uncertainty. The cool thing about this is that it scales well too. So as I zoom out, you can still see some fuzziness. And as I zoom in, it retains its fuzziness. So if I'm a user, I'm like, no, darn it. I want to see if it falls this side or this side. I want to see where it breaks one side of the line or the other. It'll never give me a fully confident discrete line. And that's good because the data isn't confident about that line. So what else can we do? Okay, um, let's, let's put this on the shelf for a little bit, paste it, and here's a version. I'll get rid of all my fade effects, and I'll give this guy a fill that's a little bit more visible. I'll go back to the 60% transparent. We'll see how this looks. Okay, so here we are with some um, discrete polygons. Now again, we don't want discrete polygons because our phenomenon isn't discrete. We just want to get a sense of where that uh, imbibes some uncertainty into it. So let's go here. And there's another effect I want to show you called wave. Wave is interesting. So it just gives it a little zigzaggy look along the edges. Now hit apply and see how that looks. Now when I see this, it reminds me of the orange handled scissors that I would grab, I would steal from my mom and use and then realize that they were the wavy scissors, I'd be like, ah, darn it, it's these scissors, I hate these things. Anyways, like fabric scissors, zip, 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 you've got a zigzaggy line. And this is a repeating sine wave, and that's okay. Um, you can also give it a randomness. That's pretty cool. I, I think that's even better. Let, you know, let's, let's blow this out a little bit and make the, the ripped edge even more obvious. So now I'm looking at something that isn't a discrete polygon, but it looks more like it's been torn out, you know? And so depending on your pheno phenomenon, maybe this is a good approach. Maybe you can use something like this to say, you know, here's a border because I have to have a border, but you know, we're not too sure. So it's kind of zigzaggy along this. So give the wave effect, especially the randomized wave effect, a shot. And you can even mix this with the blur and have multiple versions of this that kind of go in or out to make it look wavy and fuzzy. Man, I'm really uncertain about these polygons if I do that. So something to add to your toolkit. Now one last thing I want to show you is using hatched fills. A lot of the time uh, a hatched fill, which is like a polygon that just has diagonal lines within it is used for uncertainty and that's cool but let's see if we can take that to the next level and instead of having a solid fill here let's just give all of these guys a hatched fill not solid yes hatched not solid yes hatched and so on and so forth okay you can see the effect in the preview here You've got this stacked up hatch lines, but at the edge where I've got an offset, I'm only seeing a couple of the semi-transparent hatches. So the effect is a faded edge of a hatched fill, which is cool. Let's see how it looks in real life. Yeah, right? Now we're really uncertain. This is, this is pretty cool. So play with stacking these, combining these. Could I do a version that also had these going in the other direction on top? Yeah, that's cool. Um, one tip I have is if you have two different kinds of uncertain polygons, like maybe uh, the breeding locations of the crested dovetail is, is this tourmaline green, and then the breeding locations of the greater arctic robin is going to be in blue or yellow, then you would have them go the opposite way so that if they overlapped with each other, you could still see... Um, the overlapped nature of those two things. Well, anyways, we have just gone through a handful of ways to show uncertainty. So faded edge hatched fills, 
faded edge blurry fills and ripped out of a library book edges to show uncertainty. So uh, put those vectors uh, in their corner. You know, vectors have to exist because their points, lines, and polygons all strung together. But guess what? Uh, they're so cocky. They know where they are and they know where they aren't. But guess what? You know better. So make them look a little bit less confident by embedding some uncertainty into their appearance, which is telling the truth. Happy mapping.